This year we celebrate the centenary of the Morialta Conservation Park. In 1847, South Australia's second Premier, John Baker, built his house on Forth Creek and called it Morialta House, after the Ghana word for running water. The importance of water sources, such as Forth Creek, was as important to the Aboriginal people and early pioneer settlers as it is today. The beauty of this area has always inspired people to paint, photograph and write about its rocky and romantic past between the mountains, the beauty of the scenery enhanced by three distinct waterfalls, all of which, after rain, are remarkably fine as it was described early on. In 1915, John Smith Reed, who was a major landholder in the area, generously donated part of his property, about 218 hectares, as a national reserve. It was originally named National Pleasure Resort and became Morialta Conservation Park in 1972. Trams brought thousands of people each day to see Morialta Falls from 1915 until 1956 when the trams were replaced by buses. During the early days, Morialta was a popular site for trade picnic days with butchers, bakers, barbers, boot repairers, bankers and brewery workers sharing what have now become public holidays in the park with their families and peers. My own memories are of family picnics during summer, walking to the falls year-round, pushing my parents to go higher to the second and third falls despite their protests. I always felt the park said it's most beautiful in September, but it really is a park for all seasons. As well as conservation opportunities, Morialta offers an amazing range of activities with well signposted walking trails, spectacular scenery, flora and fauna to observe or photograph, and all weather picnic areas. Personally, I don't go in for the rock climbing, but plenty of people do that too. Only 10 kilometres from the city, Morialta Conservation Park is 533 hectares of paradise, and I encourage all families to visit during 2015, the centenary year of the Morialta Conservation Park.